Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Here is my new toy. A Badger 105 Patriot. This airbrush has been in the market, I think, for like a decade. So it's not a new design, but it works. That's why they keep selling it. All right, so this airbrush is different from the cheapies that I have. You can see that, well, I got to make sure the, the needle is all the way through. That's how, how it arrives. The needle uh, pushed back a little. You can see it pokes in a little bit there. The reason for that is if you're painting over a long period of time and you get a dry tip, you could basically do it with your nail to clean up, clean up the paint. But you have to be very careful if you're going to plastic cap. If you're going to put your finger here to get the mix in the paint, you're going to poke yourself. So you got to be very careful. You have to kind of play with it a little bit. Maybe pull back a little bit and then put your finger. All right. So the notice how short is the trigger here. They have another one. It's called the Extreme 105, I think it is. Uh, this one has a 0.5 needle. The Extreme has a 0.3 needle. That's how they market the airbrush. But if you go to their website, the needles are not identified by a number, uh, like a 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.7. They're not identified like that. They, uh, they have a, a, a product number, and they usually go by color. So this blue color is supposed to be 0.5, right? But I've seen them on Amazon with a gray, gray knob back here. But what you've got to look for is this notch right here. So if you have a gray one with that notch, it's a 0.5, right? And I'm going to show you why. Here's, let me get the book. There's instructions. You see it has two part numbers for the needle. So I'm guessing if you get one of them, one of them might have a gray back. There's not a lot of information on the website. I do have the other needles so I can show them to you. And I will have links down below. Okay, so back to the subject. The, the latest model they have, which is very old also, the Extreme. It, it brings the 0.3 needle and that one the needle sticks out a lot more uh, I've heard and I've viewed videos where people like it usually people that that paint little miniatures and they get have to get like really close to what they're painting it, and it works perfect for that for us over here we paint cars and uh, we usually use, or I usually, all my other needles, uh, airbrush, I'm sorry, have a 0.3 needle except for the big one, which has a 0.5. This is why I have this airbrush today. If you watch this video where I did this car, I was able to do this with the big airbrush, trigger airbrush, with a 0.5 needle. And that's why I decided maybe I should get a better airbrush to see if I could get better at painting like a fender you know because I, I i didn't tape off anything while i was doing this and it still came out i think it came out very nice but i want to see if i have better control like covering a fender and maybe a door without going over so much that's why i got this airbrush my other airbrush the cheapos they still work perfectly but another thing is with acrylic, especially Vallejo, if you don't get the the air the paint that it's built for airbrush, you have to thin 
you thin them down right and i really don't like that science where you have to thin everything down that's when the 0.5 needle comes into effect because the candy paints uh if you have a 0.5 needle you don't have to thin anything down which you can't thin a candy paint because it will lose the candy effect that's another thing right all right so to take it apart you probably seen this in another you know on YouTube but I'm still gonna show you because we're gonna customize my airbrush I'm gonna customize it with this knob right here you let go of the needle you set it aside right the front here has two parts notice how it has an F which is for fine and their website F was supposed to be for the smallest needle but we're gonna double check that right now and here I think way back when it used to come with two of these and it used to come in a little thing over here in this pocket but I guess they don't do that anymore let's put that one to the side here you have two parts you have this brass uh, thing that turns and then the other one and it takes a while you usually don't have to do this to clean it unless you're crazy like me every time I use my airbrush I think that's why my Chinese airbrush uh, have lasted so long every time I use them I clean them thoroughly all right check this out it, this thing has a slot here which is very important you can see the slot ends there so when you're going to put it together you got to make sure that it's aligned you see the spring if if you can't get it like that the airbrush is not going to work and here we have the trigger see how short it is and then we have this piece here which is what holds the trigger right the needle goes through it and it holds if you need to lock the trigger it'll go like this which I'm gonna have to do pretty soon they it also has a part in there which is listed but I don't think I'll ever have to go that deep and by the way this has lifetime warranty that's correct lifetime warranty on the labor so if anything goes wrong you could ship the airbrush just the airbrush alone they don't want the box the airbrush with everything and they'll expect expect it let you know what's wrong with it and they'll only charge you for the parts not the labor especially if it's got to be something inside here which you really can do that's very important okay this is supposed to be a 0.7 needle you see how it has the gray knob I don't think I'll ever use this don't think so but I wanted to have it because you never know maybe I'll one day I'll decide to paint a car that's 1 18th scale and with this will make it a lot easier you see how it doesn't have that notch here like this one this one it's over here in the body it's I think they're about the same size what changes is in the front notice how thick and comes with all the adapters here I dropped it I dropped it
Okay, I'm back. I have this condition where everything falls on the floor and it ends up three states over. I don't know how it does it. So this one doesn't have any letters. That's what it says on the website. The big one necessarily doesn't necessarily has to have a, a letter. This is the part number, 41-046, but I'll have, I'll have all the details down below. 41044, black knob. So this is the, the needle that comes with, um, with the extreme, the more expensive model, which is supposed to be 0.3. Put this on the other side. You see how it doesn't have a notch? Only one, the blue one has a notch. And notice how this one is thinner over here in the front. Okay, let's put that to the side. All right, let me put this back together. That point three, probably never gonna use it again unless I get a paint that's it's really watered down and I have to use a point three needle. Maybe. This is what I wanna see. So this one has two. I want nothing to fall again. Hmm, interesting. So this one has two adapters, which will make it a smaller tip than the one that comes with the airbrush. So that would mean that uh, it would be a three part in the front with this one. So you got the big one, this one, and this one. And I guess this one will be optional. And uh, the needle, you get clean it up a lot easier with your nail with that one. Let's put this back together. The alarm, which means that it's midnight. All right, let me put this needle away. I wanna, I wanna make sure I don't damage it. This is gonna be a long video, but I wanna try to do it in one take. Put this, I'll put a clip on that later. All right, so this airbrush has a proprietary, that's how you say it, uh, adapter here. It's for their own branded uh, air hose, right? So if you have a cheapo, this part is not gonna fit. This is a quick disconnect. So you will have to buy this adapter it'll screw in here and then it'll give you the thread for the cheapo hose right or if you have a quick disconnect that goes through here then you use that one option 36010 not using that what I'm using is this 51-038 This is the quick disconnect from Badger. It has the proper threads and it even has a washer in there. Already tested this out. So you don't need any Teflon tape or anything. 
hand tight. That's good enough. Here's the quick disconnect. Boom. See? So that's one modification down. The next one, high roller trigger. This is the trigger that comes with the extreme, the more expensive model. It was all still cheaper to buy all these parts than getting the extreme, which it looks good, but I'm too afraid that I'm gonna break the needle because it sticks out a lot, a lot more. And they're different a little bit, look on top. See? Okay. Let's put this back together. I'm putting this one in. Nope, nope, nope. Forgot something. You gotta be very careful with that part. If it, uh, if the tip bends, then you're gonna have problems with the needle going through. Everything goes hand tight. All right, so next, we'll be doing this. Remember, everything has to be aligned. And it does have a long thread. Takes a while. Okay, see, everything is aligned. I can pull it back. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I have here this thing, which is slided in here. You make sure you're pulling back. Knock it to the side like this. You see, now it's holding everything back. Now I have my high roller trigger and I have to get it aligned with that little shiny spot down there that goes in here. Do -do. Test it. See the spring action? Beautiful. Hold it. Now take this part, just knock it over like that. Now I hold it's holding the trigger, right? Now we're putting back the needle. Very careful. Once you think you're reaching the trigger, push down slightly. And that allows the needle to go all the way through. Now you can tie it here, tie it over here. Make sure everything is tight. And we test it. The purpose of this high trigger is if you're painting something like this and you have to control the amount of paint that's going to go with this, you could do a better job. That's the whole purpose of that. Okay, so we put the back. And that's how I customize my airbrush. So how about we give it a little test. Let me clean this up and I'll be back. I'm back. All right, this is my El Chipo with a 0.3 needle. I have two of these. They work just perfect. But what I'm about to do, this one can't really do unless I use uh, a lot of thinner to thin down the paint. 
like I said, I have two of these. This is the one, the airbrush that I, I've been using for the last few years to paint the red lines. Paint every, basically do everything. This mini one with the small cup came with a 0.2 needle. Was never able to use it. I had to buy a replacement 0.3 needle. But it holds so little paint that I really have no use for it. And take a look. You still have to buy the quick disconnect for these airbrush. Unless you're really cheap and you don't mind screwing in the air holes every time. Right? This airbrush with a 0.3 needle works perfectly. Very nice. With a 0.2, oh man. I can never get uh, acrylic paint to go through this. Even the Spectra Flame paint didn't really want to go through this. But Vallejo air paints that are meant to be for airbrush, now that it has a 0.3 needle, it'll go just fine. I can use the 0.2 needle if I thin that paint down. Just keep that in mind. And this is Big Berta. This is what I call Big Berta. This one comes in a kit like this. See, that's the cheapo hose adapter here. It comes with three cups and it comes with two needles. It comes with a 0.3 needle installed in the airbrush. And over here it has a 0.5 and a 0.8 needle. I swapped it out and now I only use it with a 0.5 needle to paint uh, Vallejo candy paint. This works perfect. I haven't had any problem. It's a little bit dirty, but it still works. Now the problem with this is it's very big. And if I wasn't recording, that wouldn't be a problem. But being it's nice and comfortable, if you paint outside and you're using like urethane paints and you're doing big cars and everything, this is really the airbrush to go with. It's so nice. It's so nice. And this is the one that we're going to be using today. And this is the paint that I'm going to be using. The Vallejo cheapest line model color. This paint is very thick. Very, very thick. Okay, this is the only thing I'm going to use. The Airbrush Flow Improver. This, The purpose of this is to make sure that the paint doesn't dry. Once you put it in, it'll try to dry in here. And this is the trick I use. All right, let me, let me get the air hose. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 knocked everything over, you see, quick connect, it has air, see, shooting at almost 30 PSI, all the Vallejo paints I shoot it between 25 and 30, see how that high roller trigger works, okay, let me cover that up. I keep covering it because of the needle. Okay, put this over here. I'm getting the airbrush flow improver. That's too much. Too much. This is why you gotta do it first. Stay right there. Yeah, I think that's about right. You gotta get to know your airbrush, you gotta get to know your paint. It's just like doing a rattle can paint job. Depending on the brand you're using, you know how you're gonna spray it. You see how thick that is? this
This thing is still thick. But we're gonna try it. We are gonna try it. The other thing you could have is a a wet napkin that might help you to do that back flush. I think that's enough. All right, let me try it. Put your finger here. Pull back the needle slightly. Now I can cover the front. Okay. I was able to do it. Pull it back without pressing down. Now cover. Beautiful. Alright, let me put all this to the side. I don't need those airbrush anymore. Let me cover this. I have a small leak, but it's from my oh, cheapo adapter hose here. It's not up here. Okay, I got another piece of paper here. Let's see how it works. Pulling back. You see? I see a lot of people when they do airbrush videos that they they get really close and they do a line and then they do circles that's nice flip over the page not bad right let me see if I could do another one but getting closer so I don't have that much overspray A little bit clearer. Let's try another one. Yep, too too much on that one. So we'll just make the too much. I haven't done any drawing in a long, long, long time.
I thought I was going running out of paint. Yeah, I'm getting tired. Man, this guy got big ears. So you gotta work the getting close. I think that's better than drawing lines like those other channels, don't you think? <laughs> well, guys, if I could do this, painting a car should not be a problem. We'll go full throttle. Look at that. Look at the cover. I uh, ran out of paint. I think I, you think I'd be able to sell this drawing? Oh, wow. I messed up the hat. Yep. So there you have it, guys. This might be the only airbrush you need. I'm very happy with my purchase. American made, which is also important. Keep the jobs here. All right. Thank you for watching. That's going to be it. Let me know what you think of this drawing. Peace out.